Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 15.3.1 update on my iPhone 12. As you can see from the screenshot that it came in about 262.9 MB on my iPhone 12 and this is an iPhone 12. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what's new with this update. And as you can see from the description as well, this is basically a security and bug fixes update. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what are the new features or why this update is important for all of us who are using 15.3 for them to update to latest iOS 15.3.1 so make sure you watch this video till the end and before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings if i go to the settings general and about section as you can see if i tap on the software version it says ios 15.3.1 and the new build number is 19d52 now i had taken a screenshot yesterday night when this update came out so as you can see from the screenshot before updating it was on ios 15.3 and the build number was 19d50 now this update as i showed you before came in about 270 odd mb with this update I didn't have any new modem firmware update so let me know for any other iPhones whether have you received any iPhone modem firmware update or not so as from the screenshot it is pretty much evident that this is all about a bug fix and also it clearly says that it contains important security updates for your iPhone and fixes an issue that may cause braille display to stop responding so it is all about that and apart from that some security fixes are there so what are the security fixes that you're going to get if you update to ios 15.3.1 let's talk about that so i have opened the apple security page as you can see it talks about ios 15.3.1 and ipad os 15.3.1 if I come down, it is all coming down to this WebKit. WebKit is the underlying infrastructure of the browser Safari on which you are viewing this website as of now. So it says that it is available for all the iPhones starting from iPhone 6s to latest uh, iPhone 13. And you know, in the description, it says uh, use after free issue was addressed with improved memory management. So uh, whether you should update to iOS 15.3.1, yes or no, I would definitely say you need to update to iOS 15.3.1 as because this is a security update and also this you know contains a bug fixes as well now many of people have asked me about the storage iphone storage issue. if i click on the iphone storage after going to general as you can see it is a 64 gb iphone and this is the first time i'm clicking on iphone storage you know after updating the phone to ios 15.3.1 so as of now it is taking some time but it is still better i have made videos on iphone storage issue which i am currently facing on my iPhone 10R, but as you can see it is taking quite a bit of time because this is the first time I'm trying to load this iPhone storage page but you know according to the people who are using iOS 15.3 they have said that you know iOS 15.3 has been the best version of iOS 15 till date and they have not been facing any issues in terms of battery in terms of performance so and so so you know let's talk about that so I also have RAM the Geekbench 5 score as you can see the single core came in about 1593 and the multi core came in about 3995 so after updating I did not notice as such any difference in performance the performance is really as smooth as it was before so if I talk about the battery let me go to the battery section and go to the battery health as you can see it is still at 99% after updating to iOS 15.3.1 the battery did not drop and if you take a look at the battery graph as you can see the screen on time is 6 hour 18 minutes and the screen off time is 27 minutes so that's there for 24 hours if I uh, you know take a look at last 10 days as you can see average screen on time and the screen off time is there so whether after updating to iOS 15.3.1 the battery life has improved or not it will take a couple of days for me to evaluate whether the battery life is same or is it better or is it uh, you know worse than the previous update so let me know that in the comment section below I'll try to post a dedicated battery review after using iOS 15.3.1 for a couple of days so then again this was a short video as I said before this update was all about the security fixes and if you're using any device starting from iPhone 6s to iPhone 13 you will get this update so make sure you are connected to uh, Wi-Fi and then you don't have any beta profiles installed on your iPhone so these are a stable series of updates 
so definitely you should be able to see ios 15.3.1 so then again this video was all about ios 15.3.1 let me know whether have you received or have you already updated to ios 15.3.1 what was your expectation and which iphone you are using as of now so let me know that in the comment section below so with that being said we have come till the end of the video thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you on my next video Bye bye